Welcome to a tutorial on the brand new Fuse Token Bridge. So this has recently been launched, we're in beta phase, and this video will talk you through how to make a simple swap or a bridge transaction from Fuse to Polygon Network, and then from Polygon back over to Fuse. Okay, so a few things to run through first before we dive in. Now the Fuse Bridge allows you to move tokens between the networks, and uh, here are the networks that you can move. So the networks available for depositing are Polygon, Arbitrum, Optimism, Ethereum, and BNB. You can also deposit fees from centralized exchanges using Binance, Coinbase, Qcoin, and Huobi Global. And I'll show you how to do that and, uh, and how that works in a second. If you want to do withdrawals, you can withdraw to Polygon, Arbitrum, Optimism, Ethereum, and BN network and BNB network. So you withdraw fees to those networks. Your choices of tokens to, to bridge, you have USDC, Fuse, and Weath, wrapped Ethereum. So those three for now are available. Okay, a few small things to jump into before we dive into the actual processes. So the key features of the bridge are we have enhanced security measures through Iron Blocks. Um, Iron Blocks are the company monitoring the bridge and keeping a vigilant watch on it. The basic uh, processes are you can swap tokens seamlessly across chains, uh, and you can also swap tokens from centralized exchanges, as I mentioned. And you've got lightning fast transactions powered by layer zero. Okay, a few issues that we need to jump into as well before we kick off. As I said, we're in beta mode. Um, there is no kill switch on the bridge. We have the ability to shut down the UI and it means that the site won't work, but we cannot kill the entire, um, the entire protocol in one go. So if something occurs, we have monitoring by iron blocks, but we do not have the ability to just kill the bridge. Um, secondly, we are migrating. We already had a token bridge between Fuse and Ethereum and Fuse and BNB chain. We had that via Voltage Finance. So what you'll see is you come here and you want to do any in those directions. So if we choose here Ethereum, it will say to move tokens from Ethereum to Fuse, please use Voltage Finance. And then there's a link here. So you click on that, you'll end up on Voltage Finance. Now there's a link uh, in the description of the video, you will find a full guide uh, blog article on how to use Voltage Finance and how to use it for bridging. So don't worry, all that information is there for you as well. So first things first, if we want to use the bridge, we need to get to the bridge. So what's the URL? bridge.fuse.io. Make sure you go to this URL and this URL only. When you get here, you will find the, uh, the Fuse logo, a legal disclaimer, and you'll find your uh, the way to conduct transactions over on the right-hand side. And as you see down at the bottom, it's powered by layer zero and monitoring by iron blocks. So first things first, we've got to the website. Now we want to connect our wallet. So what we're gonna do, we have options, Binance Smart Chain, Wallet Connect, Coinbase, Trezor, and we also have login with social account. What I'm gonna do and show today is MetaMask. So I'm gonna click MetaMask, and now I'm connected to the Fuse Bridge with my MetaMask account, which is set to the Fuse mainnet, which is correct. So what do I wanna do? I wanna take out 50 Fuse tokens, and I wanna send them to Polygon, okay? So we choose Fuse from the menu, we've typed 50, we make sure we're in withdraw, and we're going to send that to Polygon. So now we've selected Polygon and we know that we want to send 50 fuse. It's telling us that the bridge fee is nothing, but there is a gas estimation of 9.4 fuse. So we'll hit click bridge. So it's included the gas estimation of 50 plus the 9.48 fuse. So the total send is 59.48 fuse, which is two euros and 44 cents. So we'll go ahead and confirm that. It says loading. The transaction is now taking place. And what we're gonna see very shortly is a little box pop up over here on the left-hand side. And this will show us the live uh, status of our transaction. There we go. Now we can see that the transaction was from the Fuse mainnet to Polygon and the amount was for 50 Fuse. And the status at the moment says finishing. So. We just wait patiently, could take a minute or two, and then this process will take place and it will say completed and we are done. Okay, perfect. Now we can see that the transaction is, the status has changed to complete and that we now should have 50 Fuse tokens on the Polygon network. So let's check. I'll click on my MetaMask account Let's have a look on Polygon and see. 
his tokens. There we go, 50 fuse tokens, perfect. So now what we wanna do is we wanna send them back. So we're gonna do a deposit. So we're gonna deposit from Polygon and we're gonna deposit fuse and the amount will be 50. So we'll click 50 and then we'll hit bridge. It's asking me to confirm the transaction. I'll go ahead and do that. So I've confirmed the transaction. Now it's loading. And again, in a few moments, we'll see a small box pop up on the left-hand side, which will show us the real-time status of that transaction. And there it is. So from Polygon to Fuse Mainnet, we're sending 50 Fuse and the status currently is finishing. So, as I mentioned at the beginning, this can take a little while. It could take 10, 15, possibly even 20 minutes, depending on congestion and other issues with the networks. But do not worry. For people new to the blockchain, sometimes it can feel a bit scary sending tokens into the void. Don't worry, everything is fine. It's just processing the transaction. But um, while we're waiting for that to happen, in the meantime, let me um, quickly guide you through some of the other processes. So as I said at the beginning, you can go from Polygon, Arbitrum, Optimism, Ethereum, and BNB chain, but you can also go from these centralized exchanges. So say you're holding some, um, on, some on Coinbase, some USDC perhaps, and you want to get that into Fuse Network, you can do that by a layer swap. Okay? So it's all happening from here. You don't need to navigate anywhere else. This could be this can be your hub for bridging. All right, and that's it. Token bridges are fairly straightforward and fairly simple things, um, but we felt the need to explain quickly and easily how to move tokens. So the process is the same. In this example, I moved from Fuse to Polygon and Polygon back to Fuse again. But if you want to do it to Arbitrum or OP, it's just as easy. And uh, I can show you that just to be sure that I'm not talking rubbish. Let's send some to OP, shall we? Let's send, let me just make sure I've got, uh, bu -bu -bum. yes, I think I have OP mainnet. Yep, and I've got Fuse there already. That's cool. So I want to send another 50 from there. Oh, I'm depositing to OP. And I want to send Fuse. Sorry, withdrawing from Fuse to OP. And I need to change my network up here because it needs to know how it needs to know where I'm withdrawing from. So therefore it needs to be connected to the fuse mainnet. Okay, so if we want to move 50 fuse from fuse network to optimism, we do exactly the same as what we did before. We go here, we select 50, we select fuse, we select OP, and we bridge it. Here we go. I'm being asked to conduct a transaction in the MetaMask, so we'll click yes. It says loading. And what we'll see in a moment is that pop up on the left-hand side there. There we go. Fuse mainnet to optimism, 50 fuse was the amount. It's saying that the status is finishing. This one should be quite fast. Let's see. And there we go. We can see that the transaction is now complete. And if I go and have a look on optimism, I did have 50 fuse on, on optimism, and now I should have 100. Let's have a look. There we go, 100, perfect. Okay, so everything worked well there as well. So that's your brief introduction to the token bridge. Please don't forget, we are in beta stage. All feedback is massively welcomed. You can email us at hello at fuse.io and we will endeavor to get back to you as soon as possible and deal with any issues that you might have. Thanks for taking the time to check out the bridge video. Thanks for taking the time to check out our new bridge. We hope you enjoy using it and uh, stay tuned for further videos and updates regarding the new Fuse token bridge. Take care, everybody.